I've got my uh, Garmin Instant uh, set to the fourth pyramid spot from Ian Douglas. It's a different spot than Matt or any ancient architect gave. Yeah, I'm getting nervous because we're going to probably hit a point where I'm going to have to tell the horse he's going to have to stop. What does it say? On course. Oh my goodness. I hardly ever have it say that. The numbers are going down, but until they go back up, so I don't know. As long as this is working, I'm going to have to get off if we start going on course and try and walk it and not get him in trouble. You know. Look at this. We're homing in on this, Ian. We're homing in on this. Look at this. I might not even have to go off the path that the horses take. Stop, 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 stop. Unbelievable. The point at which the Garmin Instinct said course complete. This is sitting right there. Somebody put this there, Ian. I'm telling you, this is Ian Douglas's the spot of the fourth pyramid. And look, I think you can see that it is the lineup of Khufu and Khafri there. You can just see So you can see the layout in Giza here. So Petri says it's 230 meters average side of the Great Pyramid. So Royal Cubits that's 440 and small change so it's often given as 440 royal cubits, the sides of the Great Pyramid. Now, Menkara, it, a lot of different dimensions are given. I know uh, Lehner gives it as 200 royal cubits at one point. Uh, Manu saves it as, as 205. So it's about 200 royal cubits. There's many different dimensions given for Menkara. Okay. So if you take the southwest corner of Menkara and go to the southwest corner of Khufu, it just happens to be 16, 18 royal cubits, or a thousand phi, the golden number, the golden ratio. So a thousand, exactly phi. Very interesting. Okay, so now if you go from the southeast corner of Menkara to the southeast corner of Khufu, it's 1772, which is a thousand times the square root of pi. So you got phi and pi in this connection between Khufu and Khafre. Now this is work from Ian Douglas. This is some of his sacred geometry. Okay, so you've got pi and phi, these two major constants sitting right there between these two pyramids. Okay, these two have this affinity that they're both eight-sided. So really it's these two that seem to be in alignment. And the Hamayinu template, which I've done many programs on, that square that I just put on the Great Pyramid, that's there. It's defined by the Great Pyramid, and it's the same size as Menkara. So, again, there's this connection. So sometimes, you know, when people say Menkara is offset, thinking of the two big pyramids, I'm thinking it's actually Khafre that's offset, because the connection is between Menkara and Khufu. But anyways, this is the sacred geometry of Ian Douglas. So very profound, I'd say, pi and phi in the connection of these two. Okay, now the two extra pyramids you see here, those two X's, pyramids with X's, those are Ian Douglas's P4 and P5. Okay, so this is the one we went to, the fourth pyramid. Now you saw that there was a line of sight that I showed you from my horse between Kuvu and Khafre and where that GPS point ended up being. So let's put a few lines in here. So north and east side of Khufu, the northern side of P4, the eastern side of P4, and the southern side of Menkara, just to give us some, some sight lines here. Okay, so if we take the north side of Khufu and come down to the south of Menkara, that's a thousand times root three. We know that there's a unified plan here. We expect to see these incredible uh, you know, even numbered alignments. That's fine. Okay, so now we're going to go from the east side of Khufu, but now over to P4. 
Now, we wouldn't expect any sacred geometry here, except if P4 was maybe intended. So that is 1,000 times the square root of 5. So maybe that P4 was meant to be there. Okay, let's go from the east side of Khufu to the east side of Menkar. We'd expect sacred geometry here, and sure enough, it's 1,000 times the square root of 2. In the distance, that's royal cubits. Okay, now we'll go from the north side of Khufu down to P4. Again, we wouldn't expect it here because P4 is not an existing pyramid, but it's a thousand times root 4. So again, these are indications that led Ian Douglas to think this is the fourth pyramid. That's the spot. It was meant to be in the alignment. Okay, if we take the distance between Khufu and Khafre and call that 1, just what that is, and then take the distance between uh, Khafre and Menkara, that's root 3. Okay, we'd expect that. They're the big three. They're part of the sacred plan, the unified plan there. Okay, so let's take the distance going that way from Khufu to Khafre. If we call that one, then if we go from Khafre to P5 now, we wouldn't necessarily expect this to be. It's pi. Okay, so maybe this P5 point is something there. Okay, if we take the distance between Menkara and Khafre, call that 1, then between Khafre and Khufu, that's root 2. Okay, we'd expect it. Those are the big three. They're part of the unified plan. But what if we take uh, the distance from uh, Khufu to P4 and then go from P4 down to P5? So if we call the distance 1, that's Khufu to P5, then phi squared is the distance from P4 P5 to P4. This is kind of incredible. Okay, so this is the master plan that, that Ian, that I just showed you there. So again, pretty amazing stuff about sacred geometry and the points P5, uh, P4, and P5. Crossing wire, he's fading in at the fading out of my dying fire. 